This video content is not intended for children. It's 7.33 in the morning. Let's do some trout fishing. Cold, windy, wet. Let's do it. Let's head over there to my favorite spot, see if we can get a few trout. Water's a little bit high today. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's 7.30 in the morning. It's cold, but I'm out here to catch some trout. I got power eggs. Let's see if we can get a bite. In a previous video, I had a comment that said, what is your rig for trout fishing? Well, my rig is pretty simple. It's a 1000 class spinning reel on a medium fast action spinning rod. This is a six and a half foot, but you can use whatever you like. I got eight pound test mono and a very simple setup. Pinch on sinker, small hook. That's it. Six, eight, ten, somewhere around there. That should be small enough to catch a trout. Here's the exact hook I'm gonna tie on. Size six Aberdeen Ozark Trail. The pinch on sinker. The pinch on sinker is a size seven, just so you get all the details. So here's the power egg I'm gonna use. Garlic scented power eggs. I like this bait because it's brightly colored. It's kind of firm, it stays on the hook well, and it catches trout. When I hook it on, I don't hook it on right through the center. I hook it on, you know, just a little bit past the edge so my hook point is still sticking out. That helps the hookup ratio, of course. All right, let's see if we can get a bite. My hands are already freezing cold. It's been about a month since they stocked the trout and a lot of them have already been fished out of here. But I still like fishing for them in tough conditions like this. Puts my fishing skills to the test. This is Roman from Roman Castro Vlog and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. If I don't get any bites here, I got another spot or two I can walk down to and try. But this is usually my lucky spot. I might need to add more weight so it actually bounces off the bottom a little better but I'm gonna give it a few more casts before I make that choice. Oh, totally had a bite there. Missed the fish. Totally caught the tree behind me. Uh, yeah, right up here. See that? Let's get this out of the tree. I did have a bite. Sometimes you miss the bite. The line comes flying at you. You end up in a tree. Can't let it discourage you though. We're just gonna put another bait on there and get it back out.
I'm just letting it drift down and I'm waiting to feel that tug, tug, tug. I also put my finger on the line right here. Sometimes that helps me feel the bite. I'm not casting out very far, maybe 25 feet. Fish, fish on. What do we got? Oh, looks like we got a little rainbow here. Nice. Looks like he got it down there a little bit in his throat. So we're gonna get our forceps out. And we're gonna get him off the hook. There we go. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, there we go. Nice stalker here, about 12 inches long. Got him on that power egg. Good thing I had the forceps or I wouldn't have got him off the hook. All right, let's let him go. There he goes. Hello, this is Thomas from Thomas Arm Fishing. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Wait. Still got my bait. That's one fish so far. Let's keep going. Just letting it drift, waiting for that little tug tap 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 they do not slam it they tap 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 it tap 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 a roo kind of feels like a bluegill bite when you're fishing on the bottom All right, the bite slowed down over here, so one more cast. If I don't get a bite, we're gonna venture on, see if we can get a bite somewhere else. We can always come back to this spot, and I totally plan on doing that. Fish! All right! Wily little trout, I got him in the bottom lip here. There we go. Not quite as big as that last one, maybe 11 inches this time. I was just saying I'm gonna move to a different spot if I don't get a bite. Got a trout, just like that. Let's let him go. You're free. Even a month after they stocked them and everyone fished out all the easy to catch fish, you can still catch them out here. On a $20 combo, I think I actually got this one for $17.50. You really don't need a $120 rod to go fishing. 20 bucks, two trout. The amount of fish you catch is based on your skill level, the amount of practice you put in, not how much your fishing gear costs. Like I said, I paid like $17.50 for this combo. It's already lasted me two years. Two years for $17.50. I've caught hundreds of fish on this thing. 
All right, let's move. We're gonna come back to this spot though. The fish might be tired of seeing it. I may have caught the couple of fish that were here right now. If we give it a little bit of time, some other fish might settle in here and we can catch them in a little while. Hey guys, it's Ramir Malipena here in Chattanooga. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. See, I could be walking out there and fishing here, 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 here. But that is not wise. I've learned over the years and years of fishing. If you want to fish where you think the fish are, the high percentage areas. And that's where I'm headed. Certain features in the water or on the land make it more likely for a fish to appear there and that's why I focus on those areas. Yeah, another spot I like to fish, right beyond these big logs. Last time I went that way, I got water in my boots. Is it easier to go this way? Let's see. Yikes, this does not look easier. This looks slippery. Whoa, it's deep too. How can I get over or under this tree? Can I climb over right here instead of instead of walking around? Let's see. Oh. There we go. Up and over. Yeah, I like this spot. See, here's the main channel, but then it also cuts off into this little side channel. Right here where it cuts, sometimes I can get a bite here. But as you can see, the water is moving a lot faster right here. So I'm gonna put on another weight. There we go, doubled up on the small weights. It'll also help with casting, right? All right, let's see if we can get a bite over here. I'm gonna let it drift and bounce, but I can't let it go so long that I get snagged in these trees right here. It drifts way faster over here, but the idea is the same. I'm just waiting to feel that tap, tap, tap. Two weights doesn't even seem to be enough. I think it's still drifting a little bit too fast. I might even add one more because I want it to bounce off the bottom. It slows it down, catches the fish's attention when it sees something kind of getting stuck on the bottom. Let's add one more weight and see if that makes a difference. Hi, I'm John from Northern Grit, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Now I got three pinch-on sinkers. fish. See that? Totally made a difference. Oh, came off right there. Dang it. I'm fighting them in a stronger current over here, so 
got a slightly better chance of getting off the hook with all the added pressure. All right, it seems like just that one fish over here. I got to get back over this log now. Upsy daisy. Well, that's about all the time I have for today. I got two fish, lost one, and that's okay with me. Considering they stocked the trout a while ago, I think I did all right. I think they're gonna be stocking the trout again in a week or two, which should make for better fishing. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.